part two of what if Goku was sent to Beerus planet? Has Goku plans been ruined? Did the Grand Prix catch him? Is Beerus going to die? Watch this video to see what happens next. Goku arrives back to Beerus planet and tells Whis everything he has learned. He told them about time freeze, magic materialization, and how he learned those techniques. Goku wants to see if time freeze will work on Beerus and Whis. So he shouts out time freeze and it surprisingly worked against Beerus. Goku being a goofball, was pulling Beer's pants down and making him pick his nose. Whis, on the other hand, doesn't fall under the strict due to his natural angel form. Goku is a little upset that it won't work on him, but it's okay because he'll really never fight an angel. Goku eventually stops the time freeze and takes a deep breath. <sighs> Beer says, if he used that again, I'm going to send you to a planet where you'll be the only person to live there if you can. And one day I'll forget about you. And when I'm bored like normally, I will go to my planet destroying list and make sure the one you're on will be first to go. Whis, write that down so I don't forget. The Grand Priest makes an unexpected visit and tells Whis that if you could use Goku, Whis has no clue why his father needs Goku but does not question him because he knows best. Yes father, you may take Goku. Goku is terrified because he thinks his new life has been found out. His legs are shaking, his teeth is clacking. Now Goku, stand near me and I will bring you to a special place. They arrive at Zeno's palace. Goku needs to pretend as if he's never seen this area. Goku, you are in the presence of me, the Grand Priest of all universes, and Grand Zeno, the Omni King of all universes. And advice is not to get Grand Zeno mad, because with the blink of an eye, you'll no longer exist. Goku is not too nervous to meet Zeno because he met him in his past life and they bonded pretty well. The only difference is Goku is significantly younger. But Goku meets Zeno and says, Hi Grand Zeno, my name is Goku. Grand Zeno replies, Hey Goku. Goku doesn't know why he is at Zeno's palace but doesn't really care. Hey Goku, your hair is pointy. Zeno, you don't have hair. Goku starts laughing. And Zeno says, hey, Zeno, I'm just kidding. I know people don't have hair and it's normal, like my brother Beerus. Beerus then sneezes and says that Goku's talking about me. I swear if he does anything stupid, we're dead. Aishinken tells Goku that Zeno needs a friend and you're the perfect match. And I can see you two bonding. Goku in his head says, whoo. Okay, good. Oh yeah, I'd love to be Zeni friend. Grand Zeno says, Zeni? My name is Zeno. No, Zeno is a nickname for you, little bro. Oh, do you want to play a game? Sure, what game? You see these big balls? We play bowling. Bowling? Goku's a little afraid because Zeno playing is killing millions. To be my friend, Okie Dokie. Okay, Zanny, I have a better game. It's called hide and seek. One of us need to hide and the other needs to find them. You hide first and I'll find you. I'm counting to 20. You better be in a good spot. One, two, three, four. Where do I hide? Where do I hide? I don't like this game. Zeno's getting nervous. Then he teleports to a completely different realm where it's completely unfair. Okay, this spot should be good. He's on the tallest mountain across all universes and realms. He still thinks Goku can find him. Goku begins to look for Zeno and can't sense him at all. This palace isn't even big. But Whis contacts the Grand Priest and tells him if he could have Goku back. It's urgent. Please father, we need Goku. No questions asked, then Goku returns to Whis. Goku tells Whis that, hey Whis, I was playing a game with low bro Zenny. What happened? Goku, Beerus is sick. Huh? How can he be sick? This happens once every god's life. It's random, but Beerus has been lucky to not get it in 75 million years. Dang, big bro Beerus is so old. Goku, I heard that. <coughs> Watch your mouth. Goku asks, what should we do? You need to go to planet Manji and ask the elder for a herb called Wrath. Goku tells Luis that, can't you do it? It'll be way quicker. I can't. This planet blocks all angels. They are in a territory that is hidden from the rest of the universes. It's going to be very dangerous and I have someone you can take with you. His name is Zerus. Zerus? Sounds just like Beerus. Even Goku being reborn into a new family, he's still the same and he's oblivious in many ways. 
This is serious. I'll teleport him to you now. The so-called Zerus is actually Beerus. Whis puts a disguise technique on him so Goku can't tell. This is a test for Goku before he advances to the next stage. Now, they arrive on the secret planet Manji. Hey Zerus, you sound like my big bro Beerus. Uh, stop fooling around. As they roam around the area, they finally come across a village. These people are giants. Excuse me. Do you guys have a herb called the wrath? Hmm, how did you kids get here and why are you so tiny? Are you guys dwarfs? But to answer your question, no, we don't have that herb here. You need to go south for one hour. The journey begins and they start walking. Now Zerus and Goku are bonding and they get along pretty well. Zerus tells Goku his background story and it sounds just like Beerus' story with how he hates his brother. Then they finally found this village. The giants could have lied but they have no reason to really not trust them. Now Goku and Zerus think these people are friendly as well. Goku and Zerus introduces themselves and as time goes on the villager separates both of them without them even realizing. Goku is in a huge field of herbs that's exactly what he needs for Beerus. As he bends down to get some herbs he sees Zerus. Dead. Goku is unbelievably mad and begins to scream. Who did this? I didn't even notice we were separated. Why would you? Why? Why? He then enters his Super Saiyan form and tells them who did this. They said we all did. That fool is weak and you're next. Goku power level is 150,000. He never wanted to use this against anyone because it would be strange if he unlocked his power at a young age. He yells time freeze and grabs the villagers and submerges them deep, deep down in the ocean. This is how you will suffer for hurting my friend. You imbeciles had no chance of killing me. I knew something was suspicious. Now, I'll destroy this village. Whis then teleports to Goku. Goku is surprised Whis came here because he thought he couldn't. Goku, this was all a test to see how we could get that hidden power out of you. What do you mean, we? Doesn't Beerus need the medicine? No, Goku. In fact, Zerus is Beerus. Whis removes the disguise technique from Beerus. Beerus tells Goku that I never knew you had that anger and you to do that. Goku begs Whis to help save those people from dying. It's not too late for them. Weiss in an instant saves them. They came out drenched in water. These people are mad because they didn't expect to nearly die. Weiss and Beerus, I thought we were going to die. How could you? Beerus replies, you fools. You're lucky my brother spared your lives. Next, Goku, Beerus, and Weiss are on a vacation. But this is going to be the first time Weiss allows them to enter the angel realm. The grand priest has allowed them to enter because they are technically family and it doesn't go against the rules. This is Goku's first vacation from being reborn. And honestly, probably one of his first in general since he trains every day. When they enter the angel realm, they're shocked at how beautiful it is. After Weiss takes them to their house, Beerus tells Weiss that how could you hide this from me? Your house is gigantic. Goku isn't really interested and wants to train instead. Weiss tells Goku that you must not do anything with training. If you do this, then I'll teach you a secret technique. Goku then bothers Beerus. He keeps pulling his tail and patting his head. <laughs> this will definitely get Beerus mad. The main reason why Goku is provoking Beerus is so he can fight. Goku! Stop before I shave your head completely bald. And Goku thinks about this. Hmm, will this give me more power? Beerus is bald. Whis is angry at Beerus and Goku for not taking a break for once. We're leaving. You guys want to train so badly. They're back at Beerus planet. Goku, put these new clothes on. Goku can't even lift the shirt up. It's 1000 tons. Here, I'll do it for you. There you go. Now, go run for three hours. Beerus, come here. Let's have a fight. If you touch me, which will be surprising because you are quite weak, then I'll do something special for you. Beerus gets angry because Whis just called him weak. They begin to fight, but Whis is laughing because Beerus can't hit him. Look, Beerus, how weak of you. So sad, a hairless cat that's weak. That's what happens when you don't train anymore. Champa has a better chance of touching me. Goku can barely take two steps. Beerus gets tired of fighting Whis and gives up. Whis then goes to Goku and tells him that, oh, that seems too heavy for you. Let me help you. He lifts the shirt off him with one hand and tells Goku to go take a nap. You're still a child. You can't even handle this pathetic weight. Goku is mad and tries to punch Whis, but Whis flicks his forehead and shoots him 1,000 feet away. Well, 
Goku on the floor tells himself that, wow, I didn't know Whis could ever get this mad. Goku begins to laugh <laughs> because of how badly Beerus got beat. Beerus gives him a death stare. You'd be a fool to keep laughing. I know exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> and then Goku begins to run away. Whis, it's hard that I need to take care of a cat and a monkey, but family is family. Yo, that's the end of part two. If you guys could take a brief second to just drop a like and sub and turn on noties. It takes hours and hours to make these videos. Let me know if you guys want a part three. Share this video with your friends. Blow it up. Make it hit the algorithm. And peace out.